Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and welcome to my channel. This is a place that you can come and learn how to develop the skills and find the tools that you need to, to start an online business where eventually you can have a passive income. You have to build the foundation first. It's, just, it's not gonna happen overnight. And there are many, many skills to learn. So hopefully you're learning your skills here um, and I will provide you a video every single day. Today, what we're gonna compare is Canva versus getstencil.com there are two different programs where you can go in and create your graphics so sometimes when you see these fancy pictures and quotes on them and just really nice design work from people this is where they're going to either one of these two places or other places but you can with the free program pretty much be able to produce some pretty nice quality thumbnails instagram posts facebook post posts and things like that i want to go through both programs and we're going to do a facebook post on each one just so you can see the difference um, when you go into canva this is your landing page right away when you when you um, log in and right away it's going to ask you up here in the search what do you want to make you can make a banner a channel banner facebook banner facebook group banners and posters tons of things so check it out um, these are all coming up because lately i've just done an instagram post and i've frequently do my facebook posts here so then it will start popping up as a frequent thing if you uh, scroll down let's say you've made 15 20 different thumbnails or posts or something all of them are saved down here so you, do you see where it says my designs everything just stays down there so you could even bring up one of those old thumbnails or Facebook posts. And let's say you really like the picture and you just want to change the quote on it or something. You can pull it back up and edit it and then download it again and it will just save. So I do that a lot if I want the same background, especially on a thumbnail. So we're going to do, I lost my Facebook post thing. So we're going to do a Facebook post right there. And again, we're, we're comparing free to free. What I like about Canva, they have pictures and templates already made for you. So let's say that you want to, um, you want to do a Facebook ad and you're doing a yard sale, bake sale or something like that. Well, they're already listed right here, the templates for the Facebook posts. Um, if you're doing Halloween Facebook posts, maybe you're going to do a party and you want to post it. Um, food, anything, birthday parties. Um, and if you just start scrolling down, you can use any of these templates that say free on them. They also have some that they might charge you a dollar if you find one that you like. I have never had to pay a dollar for one. Um, pretty, they have such a huge selection that I pretty much find what I need without it. But let's go ahead and pick this Easter template. And it just says best wishes. Um, oh, that one just says best wishes. There it is. Okay, so let's say you want to change the color of the font. Um, you can just click it and then up here where it says color, let's say I want it to be darker and I'm not going to be real creative here as much as just show you oh, it does say best Easter wishes um, just to show you what you can do you can change the color of the outline if you want look up here in the corner see where it's pink I can open that up and I can change that to black see that so you have a lot of ability to change you can go in and change what the font says so let's say i really like that flower and i wanted to say happy birthday to somebody or i wanted to say happy mother's day i can go in and just click the font and type in happy birthday well we gotta move it over because it's not uh, let's go over well, you get the idea and I can move that over we need to open it up a little all right oh, there you go there okay so since I'm not be able to resize it very easily let's just make the font smaller so it fits okay that was at 105 let's slide down here and go to 96 and now it fits so you can resize it I didn't want to take time to to, to make the um, the size of the box bigger but you can see there that it does a lot of things you can also go here where it says um, elements 
And if you want to add an element, sometimes people will make a box and then put something in it. This is where they go to do it. Um, let's just use this arrow. You can put an arrow on there. Uh, the arrow is really light. You can't see it. So double click it. And then you can change the color of the arrow. It's white. I'm going up here to hit the white box. Let's make it red. I'm just trying to make it bright. But there you go. You can add different elements. Elements are just different shapes and things. Under that, there's text. You could bring up a totally blank page. And then let's just delete that, OK? Let's say we want to make our own. I'm going to go, I'm going to add a new page. I'm going to delete what we have. There we go. I'm just going to hit delete everything out. Let's say I want to make my own page. I want to do everything from scratch. I can go to backgrounds. I can pick a color, a solid color up here, any color that I want. There's blue. Actually, that went to the <laughs> to the outline there. All right, let's do a background. That should bring a background in there you go oh it's only bringing in all right let's delete that off there we go all right now we have a gray background i could do this blue background any of these backgrounds here for free and then i could even bring in my own photo there's an upload area you can upload an image and then put an image on there if you want I'm going to take that um, image off and you just upload them right from your desktop. Just find an image, put it on your desktop. Now make sure you go to places like Unsplash. I've done videos before where you can go get free photos, but be very, very careful about just taking things off the internet. They, there's copyright issues and there's all kinds of places that you can get free photos. A lot of them will say you can get free 10 free photos and then pay for them after that. Um, here I can add text. So there it says add a heading. I can change my font over here. I can um, change the size of my font, make it bigger. I can change the color of my font. We'll, we'll go with white since it's on the, uh, let's go red just so you can see it. So you have a lot of ability on Canva to be very, very creative for free. Um, actually, the only benefit I have seen of getting the pro program in canva is if you are if you're branded like you finally decided what colors you want for your website or your funnel and you just want those colors to always be with you like a branding they have a branding kit so once you decide on all that every single time you go to make something your branding colors and your font and everything that you saved will always automatically pop up so it's really a benefit if you do a lot and you you pretty much have found your style um, if you're new you probably haven't found that yet so don't worry about it um, one day it'll all come together i think you can get away with the free program all right stencil i found it interesting it's very different it, it has a whole different style about it the free program does not offer as much as the paid program but i think if you like to do a lot of quotes and things this is really a neat place to go i'm on the home page right now but i wanted to show you at the bottom of the home page um, a whole bunch of different features that they do offer they have stock photos templates logos that you can upload quotes now see canva doesn't have quotes uh, a whole bunch of web fonts you can upload your own font if you would like, if you found something online. And they have icons and graphics and extensions that you can add. So it can get pretty complicated. But the free program, I've already got it up, so we're not going to have to wait for it to download, has watch the features on the side because it's very different. You have photos that they already have for you. So we're going to go ahead and click one of them just to show. We're going to make a Facebook page. Now, just like Canva, if you say, I want to make a Facebook page. Now, I don't know why it went right to Pinterest. I think it was already set there. There you go. See this little doodad down here in the bottom left-hand corner of the picture? Right now, this is set for a long Pinterest post. If I click that, I can resize it to Facebook photo, Facebook link post, Twitter, Pinterest, two different sizes. So I'm going to do a Facebook photo just like we did before. Now, 
all these photos all these graphics are yours to use for free and they have over two million in there so there's tons you can do a search up here if there's something specific that you're looking for let's go to the next uh, little link here on the side and there's featured icons these are a little bit different than the elements with canva canva it's more of geometric shapes and things like that this one has a ton again two million free icons that you can use see earlier you saw that i uploaded the facebook icon well there it the logo's right there i can i can bring it in right away oh evidently i have to upgrade to have access to that so you'll find out as you use things uh, whether or not you can use them but we did have access to the photos we're going to take that icon off of there and this is really neat that you do not get with canva but they have quotes so i can add a quote over here and if you notice there's a text color there's a drop shadow there's a background color so watch what i do there um, where the quote is I can change the color so let's do yellow just to kind of I went to black let's go up here in the corner but see that I can do a different background with my quote and my quote is right there I don't have to go searching and again there's like over two million quotes in here so if you like to do a lot of photos with quotes and you do a lot of posting that way this is really really easy and these are all the features you can you know turn them into black and white um, there's a lot that you can do here you can play around with the lighting and it's right here in, in a one-stop shop I, I really like this um, this is definitely something that uh, makes it stand out a, uh, from Canva where they're not the same program is what I'm trying to show you and then after that you can upload photos so if I go 